okay hydrogen and its compounds hydrogen and its compounds so in that we already completed hydrides and the preparation of hydrogen and uh, its properties chemical properties and physical properties and next one is hydrates hydrates preparation and hydrates physical properties and chemical properties is completed next one next substance is water so in that water the preparation of water and its physical properties is completed now next one is chemical properties chemical properties of water so chemical properties of water substance the water is react with so many compounds it gives us so many products so in that we are discuss only few reactions so in that first one is amphoteric amphoteric nature in that first reaction is amphoteric nature means the water is act as acid and as well as base so means the water is act as acidic nature and as well as basic nature so if a substance is act as a acid acidic nature or basic nature is called as amphoteric substance for example for example water molecule is reacted with nh3 it forms oh minus nh4 plus and second reaction you can observe here water molecule is reacted with hydrogen sulfide it can it converted to h3o plus hs minus means in this reaction water in first example water is act as a lewis acid whereas in second reaction water is act as lewis base so means in first example lewis acid is reacted with nh3 gives hydroxide ion in second example water molecule is act as a lewis base it is reacted with hydrogen sulfide converted to hydronium ion so this is your amphoteric nature means the water is shows acidic nature and as well as basic nature so two characters are possible for water that's why this substance is called as amphoteric substance and second one is and next one here hydrogen sorry the water molecule in that water molecule hydrogen is easily undergoes reduced nature in presence of act two metals or in photosynthetic reaction 6co2 6h2o in presence of photochemical condition chlorophyll it converted to c6h12o6 plus 6o2 so in this process also involved water molecule means in photosynthetic process of plant photosynthesis process in a plant the preparation of carbohydrate like glucose from from carbon dioxide and water molecule in presence of photochemical condition with chlorophyll and next one is autoprotolysis protolysis autoprotolysis means the water molecule is self autoprotolysis means autoprotolysis means the water molecule is selfly undergoes oxidized nature it converted to h3o plus hydronium ion and produce oh minus means two moles of water molecule is reacted with is reacted undergoes autoprotolysis means self reaction it gives hydronium ion and hydroxide ion and next one is this water molecule is easily reduced in nature that is fluorine is reacted with water molecule 
it gives f minus and next one is oxygen next one h plus is formed okay here 2f2 it is converted to 2f minus or 4f minus so we need we need not to check that one so this is the amphoteric nature and next one is hydration hydrolysis hydrolysis means the met oxides are dissolved in water produce acidic substance that is h3po4 our sio4 is dissolved in water gives converted to scl4 okay so this is a hydrolysis reaction means the metallic oxide the the oxides are dissolved in water produces acid means non metallic oxides are dissolved in as dissolved in water produce acids or metallic oxides are dissolved in water produce a base and next one is after this one next one we will discuss crystallization process crystallization process so the salts are dissolved in water forms crystals so those crystals are generally three types one is crystal hydrate crystal hydrate the crystal hydrate example is chromium so this one this is the example for crystal hydrate means hexa aqua chromium plus 3 chloride complex is an example of crystal hydrate and second one is interstitial 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 hydrate this interstitial hydrate example is barium oxide with eight moles of water or two moles of water and third one is hydrogen bond hydrate so this example is copper sulfate plus 5h2o so these are the examples of crystallization salt or crystallization hydrate one is crystal hydrate next one is interstitial hydrate and third one is hydrogen bond hydrate and next topic is aldehyde soft water aldehyde soft water so generally the rain water is a pure water whenever this pure water the rain water is falls into on into the earth it is mixed with different types of minerals like bicarbonates sulfates or carbonates or chlorides etc whenever this mixing of these salts the water shows hard water or soft water hard water means the water containing calcium magnesium salts of bicarbonates bicarbonates these are not produce leather by a soap is called as hard water means in hard water the calcium magnesium metals are containing bicarbonates whereas soft water means the water is consist calcium magnesium salts of sulfates or chlorides is called as soft water means soft water is containing chlorides and sulfates whereas hard water is consist bicarbonates this is called as hard water and soft water and next one is here this hard water and soft water is easily 
removed the removing of hot water hardness of water or characteristics of hardness of water is removed by two techniques in that first one is temporary 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 process or temporary hardness or permanent hardness temporary hardness means in this temporary hardness we use two types of techniques means here calcium magnesium salts containing bicarbonates such water is called as hardness so this temporary hardness can be removed by a two techniques in that first one is clark clark's method so first technique is clark's method now see so here clark's method means here magnesium bicarbonate hco3 taken twice the magnesium carbonate means the magnesium or calcium carbonates are interact with lime water lime interact with lime produce calcium carbonate plus magnesium hydroxide plus carbon dioxide or if it is calcium bicarbonate it dissolves in calcium hydroxide with calcium hydroxide liberated calcium carbonate plus carbon dioxide so means this is a clark's method clark's method means magnesium or calcium bicarbonates are added to a lime water produce carbonates those carbonates are are insoluble in water these are precipitate out this is our clark's method and next one is and next another method so in this method calcium or magnesium bicarbonates are decomposed to produce carbonates those carbonates are appear as a those carbonates are insoluble in water and precipitate out that is magnesium bicarbonate undergoes decomposition produce magnesium carbonate plus carbon dioxide plus water molecule this is a insoluble or precipitate or calcium bicarbonate undergoes decomposition produce calcium carbonate as precipitate out again produce carbon dioxide and water molecule this is your temporary hardness so temporary hardness can be removed by a two techniques one is clark's method another one is heating process or just this is called as boiling method boiling method means all calcium or magnesium bicarbonates are heated produce insoluble precipitates so this is your temporary hardness of water means the hardness of water can be removed by two techniques one is temporary hardness next one is permanent hardness now we discuss permanent hardness so permanent hardness is the permanent hardness of water can be removed by a techniques like first one is ion exchange method next one kalgan method or treating with washing soda so these three methods are used for permanent hardness of water